So, a few videos ago, we took a look at the Ryzen 5 2600 and how it hold up in 2021. Since that video, I have upgraded to the Ryzen 7 3700X. So, let's see how they compare against each other in 2021. So, firstly, the key differences between these chips are the Ryzen 5 2600 is a 6-core 12-thread processor compared to the 8 cores and 16 threads found on the Ryzen 7 3700X. This alone will show a big difference in the CPU based performance. The clock speed of the Ryzen 7 3700X is also 200MHz higher than the Ryzen 5 2600. Also the Ryzen 7 3700X being a year newer there should be a big difference in these two due to the architecture changes. So let's take a look at the benchmarks. First up is Cinebench R20, last time out with the Ryzen 5 2600 at stock speeds we got a score of 2762 which is a fair way off the Ryzen 7 3700X score of 4798. Overclocking the Ryzen 5 2600 to 4GHz will give us a better score of 3009 but the Ryzen 7 3700X can also be overclocked to get a better score than the 4798 for the Ryzen 5. Next up is 3D Mark's Time Spy. Last time with the Ryzen 5 2600 we got a combined score of 4444 with the GTX 1066 gig and the CPU score was 6095. With the Ryzen 7 3700X we got a combined score of 4668 which is a nice improvement to say we are using the same graphics card but our CPU score yet again was much higher at 9869. So to conclude which CPU out of these two should you buy in 2021? Well it's a now brainer that the Ryzen 7 3700X is the better CPU as it destroys the Ryzen 5 2600 in these benchmarks but if you are on a budget the Ryzen 5 2600 is still a great CPU for the price as you can see from our scores there wasn't a big improvement in combined scores with the GTX 1066 gig so you could happily pair a Ryzen 5 with a GTX 1070 or a 1070 Ti or an equivalent power card to that but if you're after the best of the best the Ryzen 7 3700X is the best CPU in terms of value if you're looking for the best of the best. I didn't want to compare any games today as I know we would be holding back the true performance of the Ryzen 7 3700X with my current GPU. Anyway if you like this video remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you all in the next one.